this has been an issue for first ladies for over 50 years. What help do they get in being first lady? We continue this evening with a new government position, office and resources for Oregon's first lady, coupled with the fact that three of Tina Kotek's top staffers are also stepping down. Blair Pess joins us in the newsroom. Blair, a lot of questions around all this, including the timing of these moves. So help us connect the dots on what's going on here. Well, David, Governor Tina Kotek's administration is not providing much detail so far about the new position for Oregon's first lady. But we do know they have brought in a staffer to work with the first lady for the next six months as they work to give her her own office. The big questions that still remain, what will the First Lady be using it for and how will it shape her role in the administration? This week, a new advisor is joining Governor Tina Kotek's office, all to help the First Lady, Amy Kotek Wilson, establish her own office. Although so far, it's unclear exactly what Kotek Wilson will be doing. The governor's spokeswoman tells KGW she will support the administration. Now, we asked what that meant, but we're not given any specifics. Though it's confirmed Kotek Wilson won't be getting paid. In the past, bringing family members into the work of running the state has proven controversial. Well, my first thoughts went back to history. Jim Moore teaches politics at Pacific University. This has been an issue for first ladies for over 50 years. What help do they get in being first lady? Back in 2015, Governor John Kitzhaber resigned amid scandal over the role his fiance played in his administration. Governor Tina Kotek, then House Speaker, among those who called for his resignation. So it's been a big issue for a while. But this then also raises other questions. What is the First Lady going to be doing? This First Lady is different than other First Ladies. For one, she joined the governor on the recent One Oregon Listening Tour. She has a background in social work, helping those with serious mental illness. Here she is next to Kotec in Yamhill County back in December. I don't know how active she was in those conversations, but she was at every one. We haven't seen anything like that before. The talks of giving her an office comes amid three of the governor's top staff stepping down, including her chief of staff leaving this week. It shows that they are at a place where they can't be comfortable working with the governor for whatever reason. I think it probably has to do with the first lady, but for whatever reason. The Willamette Week and OPB both reporting tensions between those staffers and the First Lady led to their departure. KGW reached out to each of them but did not hear back, and the governor's office would not comment on what they're calling personal matters. That is an issue for the governor. It, cho it shows that when she chose these people for the position, she may not have thought through what she wanted to do as governor. And that's a common thing. Neither the governor nor the first lady were available for an interview today. All right, so again, the governor's chief of staff is leaving on Friday. So the deputy chief of staff for public administration will step in, seeing as the governor's deputy chief of staff is also leaving next week. And so is one of the governor's special advisors. She's returning to work at OHSU. David. Yeah, certainly some big changes there. Thank you.